I've always been a big Call of Duty fan. You know, I was really excited. I got on the Twitch and I started watching the events. Uh, then after that, I had my own Twitch, and that's how I pretty much got involved. When it comes to owning a team, what what kind of step was that for you? Oh, it was a big step. We did a lot of planning before. You know, the idea was pretty easy to come up with, but actually getting everything together, getting the players, getting the sponsors, you know, that was the tougher part. What do you think of esports and these guys being cyber athletes, being a professional athlete yourself? Uh, well, I mean, hey, you know, it, we got all types of professionals out here. You know, we got a lot of professionals that are professionals of the mind, and this is definitely a mind game. You know, I don't know how they deal with the stress. Um, you know, I deal with anticipation myself, and the anticipation we don't play until 6:30, so it's like everybody's just can't wait to get on. How does your sports background help when it comes to stepping in and? mentoring these guys? I think that it just helps basically with team building and managing the team. You know, I'm able to manage their personalities pretty well. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I do, a, you know, a couple of incentives to try to help them play better, you know, things like that. And it, you know, it just kind of makes everybody closer. So I think that I'm able to do that just from my own experience with playing with teams. Have you gotten a sense when you talk to other NFL players that eSports is kind of on people's radar today? Oh, I have a million people wishing that they were joining me right now. Uh, but, you know, right now, only thing that I pretty much told them is, you know, if you're going to be committed to it, then you have to be committed to it. I've had great help um, from the co-owner of my team, um, uh, Rise Bomber. So, you know, he's been helping me out a bunch with all of this, especially with everything else going on with free agents. Being someone who plays Call of Duty, what are your thoughts about this as a real sport? Oh, I think it's great, man. It's a lot of excitement. Uh, you know, the gaming community is just growing exponentially, and uh, I've received so much support. You know, I can, who wouldn't want to be a part of this? When you look at the bigger picture, last year across the street from here, Staples Center was sold out with League of Legends. We're going to have a soccer stadium sold out for Dota 2 this summer. What are your thoughts about esports moving into real athletic arenas? Oh, I think that's great as well. And, you know, I hope that Rise Gaming can continue to expand. When it comes to other 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 video games, are you looking at things like League of Legends and, and Dota 2 and uh, StarCraft 2? There's been little sparks here and there that have got me uh, really interested. Um, I know that we have the resources to do what we need to do as far as that goes, but we need to do a little bit more research before we venture out any, more, any further. What are your thoughts about the teamwork that's required for a game like Call of Duty for these guys to play together? Oh man, co communication is key. Um, everybody knows that, and uh, basically your reaction from that that's basically t trusting your teammate. So communication and trust are the two biggest keys I feel in playing this game. When it comes to your own experience playing video games, how does that help when it comes to mentoring these guys? I just understand it more. You know, it's just, it's just able to, when they tell me things are going on, I can understand them, which is why I want to do a little bit more research with, with other games before I decide to enter those. A million dollars up for grabs here. What impact do you feel these big purses will have on pushing esports to the next level and getting more mainstream uh, acceptance. Oh man, I think that it's already doing that as is. Uh, you know, the money is just basically for these kids. These guys are going out here, they're practicing, they're working, they're doing what they got to do. They're on the big stage, and now we're going to see who comes for the money. You know, the money is basically for them. You know, I just enjoy the ride. What are your thoughts about the fact that this actually exists as a as a career today for kids? Uh, you know, it's crazy. I, I didn't even know it. You know, I just enjoyed playing so much. I was always on. I love the bragging rights. And then now here I am, and I finally see everything for the first time, you know, first person instead of on a, on a computer screen. So, you know, it's really great. It's, I think that it's all good for these kids. And, you know, it shows that, you know, video games can bring you some money now. It's not always a waste of time.